Hey guys, Tim here from TimKipTutorials.com and today we're going to be showing you how to install um, a, a local host server for your computer. I am using a Windows operating system and we're going to be installing Examp. Um, you can go to www.apachefriends.org slash en slash exampt.html or you can just Google Examp and um, it should be the first one to come up. So if you click on there, you go straight to this website, and at the top you want to click on Exam right here. What you're going to see is a list of um, installation files that you can download. You can download for Linux, Windows, Mac OS X, and Solaris. Um, I'm using Windows, so I'm going to click that. And by the way, this is all free and um, to download and use on your computer. So as you can see, um, Apache servers included MySQL, PHP, um, PHP and MyAdmin, which is a database. Um, you can manage your database from your web browser using PHP MyAdmin. Uh, FileZilla, which, a, which is a file transfer protocol server, and Tomcat, which is used for Java. Um, and if you scroll down, you can see for installation and download, you can click on Download for Exam, and you'd be taken down to um, the latest version which is 1.77 at the time of this recording and I'm recording on April 30th of 2012. Um, you can download the installer, the zip file, or the 7-zip file. I'm just going to use the installer. Click that to start the download. I wait for that to happen. And it's about 80.9 megabytes so it'll take just a second to download. I guess a little bit more, probably a couple minutes, depending on your um, internet connection speed. So I'll pause the video until I have everything downloaded. Okay, everything's almost downloaded. So when it's finished downloading in Google Chrome, you can either click on the executable file, which will show up right here, or you can go to wherever your downloads are and click on the installation there. So I'm just going to double click on the installer click on run and the first thing it pops up is selecting a language so I'm going to click English and that's just saying the user account control is deactivated on my system and now you get to a, the, the official setup so I just click next you can cl choose wherever you want to do it I'm just going to choose the default which is in my C directory under exam click next we're going to create a desktop icon you can do whatever you want um, I'm going to leave all of these unchecked. We're not going to install anything as a service and just click install. And the installer will start extracting all the files and installing your server onto your system. So I will come back when this is all installed on my system. Okay, so the setup wizard is complete. You can, so go ahead and click finish. It says congratulations, the installation was successful and start the exam control panel now and you can go ahead and click yes and down here at the bottom I'm just moving up here uh, here's your exam control panel um, every time you want to use your server your Apache must be started and a firewall will come up and you can just say allow access and if you're going to be using databases you can go ahead and click MySQL and say start you're going to have another firewall Intrusion, maybe. Some oh, there it is. Just hit allow there. Um, I'm not going to go through Fire or FileZilla, Mercury, and Tomcat because I've never used them through Exam. So for right now, all you're going to be using is Apache and MySQL. So go ahead and get those started. You can go ahead and click exit, and then back over here in your browser, at the top, we'll just start a new tab. You can just type in localhost, hit enter, and you should see this Exam logo. If you don't, that means something has went wrong. Go ahead and click English, and now it says congratulations, you successfully installed Exam on the system. Um, so over here on the left, you have uh, status security documentation for Exam. Um, PHP section, you have PHP info, which will just display all your PHP information um, about your server, like um, the type, the PHP version, all that stuff. And then some examples underneath, we're not gonna go through those. And under tools down here, you have phpMyAdmin, um, which is going to be used to manage most of your database activity. So if you go ahead and click here, 
under PHP My Admin, you'll see that you're in here, all your databases that are um, pre-populated are over here. You can go ahead and create databases by clicking databases and all that, but this is not in the scope of this tutorial. So if you go back to localhost, you can check on it there, and then if you want to start creating websites in your C drive where you install your exam or wherever you have installed it, you're going to want to look for a folder called htdocs. Inside here is where all of your websites will go. So if you go ahead and create a new folder, and we're just going to call this uh, test uh, site for starters, go inside, and we're just going to create a new, uh, we'll create a new PHP document. Except I'm going to open Notepad++, which is a free text editor, and I'm just going to type in some PHP code, and you don't need to understand this for now, but we're just going to echo out the words, hello world. And we're going to go to our directory in our exam server, called test site. We're going to name this as index.php. And the .php is important because it will recognize it as a PHP file and your server will process your PHP code. Hit save. Now if we go back over here to um, your browser and localhost, we're going to type in our folder with test site. And if we just hit enter, you should see at the top, hello world. And as always, check out the website, timkiptutorials.com. And if you have any questions regarding this video or anything else, we have our support forums right here. Just click on forums. Um, must be a, a user on the site, so go ahead and register for that. And then um, you can list your categories over here, whatever one you want help with. Just post in there, and we'll have someone reply to you as soon as possible. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.